hide assets. First and foremost, you must know that yes, there are ways to hide assets from creditors, divorce, and lawsuits, and you can do it legally. You need to take action early, however, to avoid the suspicion of defrauding a creditor. In other words, it's best if you act as soon as possible. Now, there are a few ways to protect yourself after the fact. However, don't wait until your opponent asks the judge to freeze your assets mid-lawsuit before you decide to transfer them to a trust or other asset protection entity. Then it would be too late. To give you a little background, I've been in the asset protection field since 1991. Our company started in 1906. We currently have, I believe, about 65,000 clients in our database, and we are the leading asset protection firm nationally. So feel free to give us a call for a consultation. Okay, now, how do you protect your assets? How do you keep your assets legally safe and secure? Now, just to be clear, this organization uses a multitude of techniques. Some hide assets. Others actually protect assets. What's hidden can be found. But what's protected, even if it's discovered, is still protected. And we think that's really what most people want anyway is asset protection. Now, many people search the Internet using the word hide, and that's what may have led you here. So that's the main reason we use both the words protect and hide. So let's talk about options. So to hide or protect your assets from lawsuits and creditors, there are a couple of obvious options for you. For your personal assets, such as your home, you can hide your ownership in a land trust. In your cars, you can hide them in title holding trusts. These documents keep your association with these items out of the public records. Now, there are several types of domestic trusts discussed in detail on our website, and domestic trusts do offer better protection for your personal assets than no trust at all. But since domestic trusts are under the uh, jurisdiction of domestic courts, we've seen many of them penetrated. So the safest and most secure place for your liquid assets, in our experience, is an offshore asset protection trust. And one of the most effective legal tools is the Cook Islands Trust. And Cook Islands are located south of Hawaii. This trust has been court tested, and it has a case law proven track record showing that it effectively protects assets. The main reason is this. Our international law firm that acts as the trust company resides outside of the jurisdiction of the U.S. courts. Therefore, they are not subject to U.S. court orders. Demands to repatriate funds fall in deaf ears. The trustees are reputable, licensed, bonded, insured international law firms with long-standing track records for safeguarding assets. Now, inside of the offshore trust, we place an international LLC. You hold the bank accounts in the name of the LLC. You're the manager of the LLC and the signature on all the bank accounts until you need our law firm to step in to protect you. Business entities. If you own a business, it would usually be wise to establish a business entity such as a corporation or LLC. Now, corporations and limited liability companies act as barriers between your business life and your personal life. They provide protection that sole proprietorships or partnerships don't offer. Now, it so happens that this organization has expertise in setting these up as well. So if you own a business and you own assets in the business and you have not yet created an entity for it, right now might be the time because when somebody sues your business, you don't want them to jump over into your personal life. While it's still on your mind, it might be a good time to act. And this needs to have been done last week for your and your family's protection. The main takeaway here is that these processes are best done, but not necessarily so, started before a lawsuit begins. If attempting to deprive creditors at the last minute after someone files a lawsuit against you, know that a court will take interest in your recent transfers, whether a lawsuit has been filed or you know when is coming. They may see the last minute moves as fraudulent conveyances. Now keep in mind that Fraudulent conveyance is generally a civil matter and not a criminal one. We've never had a client go to jail for it, for example. Still, that is why addressing your asset protection today may be crucial to your financial safety. If someone has already served you with a lawsuit or you know one is on the way, you can still institute an asset protection strategy, but know it is better and much better to do so beforehand. Move swiftly. Before your assets are threatened before any hint of legal trouble, 
you can keep them safe and secured. Specifically, using offshore trusts and other asset protection entities makes it even more difficult for domestic financial predators to encroach on your wealth. The best part is that it's perfectly legal. If something is legal and you're better off doing it than putting it off, it might just be the time to take action. An example, let's create a little scenario uh, to paint a picture to show how this is done. We'll do this before bogging you down with technical details of it all. Let's say Jonathan has $930,000 worth of assets. You may have much more, you may have less. Let's say they include a home equity, funds in a savings account, a paid off Mercedes Benz. What Jonathan needs to do with these personal assets is put them in the proper legal tools. You can place the home in a land trust and mortgage the property to the hilt. You can put the Mercedes in a title holding trust and borrow money using it as security. The liquid assets, including the proceeds from the two assets mentioned above, are placed into an offshore asset protection trust. Now he's smart because he's doing it now before he can even fathom a lawsuit from coming his way. He reads the literature and knows the Cook Island Trust, for instance, proves an effective and consistent way to protect assets. The challenge is that many people who are not facing imminent lawsuits scratch their heads until they bleed trying to understand every last detail. We call it paralysis by analysis. That same person gets sued and keeps scratching right through his or her skull until a lawsuit freezes and seizes their assets. At that point, once their assets are frozen, there's nothing that we can do to protect them. That same person will have a $1,500 television hanging on their wall, pick up the remote, and turn it on with no idea how the picture gets up there on the screen. They're, sitting there with, they're not sitting there with a screwdriver opening up the box trying to figure out every circuit before they watch the latest episode of Duck's Dynasty. They simply turn on the TV and sit there and watch without an inkling of a thought of how the signal gets there and all those pixels dance around the screen to entertain them. They, they turn around and risk hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars they work so hard for analyzing asset protection strategies until a savvy pack of lawyers sneak up on them like a herd of lions on a baby gazelle to eat them alive while they sit there dumbfounded. Don't get trapped by paralysis of analysis. Take action while you still can and rely on the experts. Safe and secure. Jonathan now has the meat of his assets in an offshore trust. Wham, a lawsuit is filed against him. He's a young doctor who is being hit with a challenging malpractice lawsuit that far exceeds his insurance limits. He knows he may lose the case. He also knows, however, that he has protected his assets in a Cook Islands trust. The local courts do not have jurisdiction over foreign trustees, so taking them from, his, from him is hard, if not nearly impossible, to do. The most he stands to lose in the lawsuit is what is readily available domestically. So Jonathan has made the right choice. Consider another point. You have protection available to you if you are a business owner as well. This is especially the case if you have prudently formed an entity, such as a corporation or LLC, rather than remaining a sole proprietor. Now, these entities do not protect against professional malpractice, such as a physician removing the wrong kidney, but they can offer protection against employee or contract liability and so on. The Cook Islands Trust. Now, back to personal trust. The Cook Islands does not even recognize foreign judgment. So say a court is interested in seizing your assets and they, and they make a phone call and call the trust company, our law firm, and the most they will get is someone who will turn a deaf ear to them who is not under their jurisdiction. Essentially, what this trustee is saying is, with a call like this is, sorry, I can't help you. It's my legal obligation to protect my client and their assets. Your courts don't have any say-so here. Again, this is perfectly legal, and you can expect the trustee to carefully manage your assets only when you get into legal, legal trouble. When that's over, you simply put the they simply put the ball back in your court. Meanwhile, you have full access to your assets online, you can trade stock, and so on. Misinformation from unscrupulous creditors on the internet. Now, there's a lot of negative information on the internet about hiding your assets or protecting your assets in domestic or offshore trusts by forming business entities, etc. But creditors and their lawyers publish most of that information in order to throw you off course. You are likely to find these financial predators refer to people who make these intelligent actions as scoundrels 
or deceptive. And it's clear what their goal is, though. They want you unprotected so they can have easy access to your money. These things become much easier for them when they find a defendant with easy-to-reach domestic assets. Most trial lawyers don't produce. They take. They want a payday. And the way to get that payday is by taking from those of us who do produce. That said, it is very important to be skeptical when reading these persuasive, self-serving, and even cruel articles that you may find on the internet to try to dissuade you from protecting your assets in a divorce or other lawsuit. Remember, when we discussed that opening trusts and forming protective assets before legal trouble is legal. What these creditors who post their dirty laundry all over the web are doing is they're saying, yes, it's legal, but we don't like it. Well, too bad. Act now. Consumers are not at the mercy of creditors. That is, unless they allow themselves to be. Therefore, it is extremely important to start the process of setting up an asset protection trust, if appropriate for your situation right now. Then form other asset protection entities that suit your needs. Beat them to the punch. You are outsmarting them and you are legally doing so. Those with the means to sue the little guy will stop at nothing to get into your pockets. They want to line their pockets with your money. So if you have questions about protecting your assets, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-830-1055 or visit assetprotectionplanners.com. Thank you.